Hey man, excuse me, uh, what do you pick? A job, a nice cold beer, or a $20 bill? Well, I want the cerveza, man. The beer, cervecita. <laughs> Enjoy, man. Trying to get some money, man. Yeah, I'm trying to. Look, here's the deal for you. What do you pick? I got a $20 bill, I got a nice cold beer, and I got a job opportunity for you. Which one do you want? You can only pick one, okay? What do you think? What's it gonna be? The shovel. The shovel? I'll decide again. Are you sure? I mean, sure. Uh, the sun's really harsh right now. We're gonna be working. I mean, we're, we're gonna show you a construction site in a moment. But uh, if you're sure, we can, we can make it a deal. Yeah, I'm sure about that, so. No well, doubt, yeah. I see the confidence in you, man. So, uh, here you go, all yours. Uh, why don't you come with us? To, uh, do you want to see the construction site? Yeah, sure. Okay, sure. follow us, come on. Okay. Well, here we are. Uh, this is our construction site. As you can see, we need a lot of help. So, um, are you ready? Yeah, sure. What's your name, by the way? Andres. Andres. Nice yeah. to meet you, Andres. Well, we got to formalize this thing. We don't have a, an official contract. Uh, as of now, but we're, we're gonna bring it tomorrow for you, okay? You seem kind of responsible. I'm pretty sure, well, you didn't pick the beer, so I'm pretty sure you you don't have any alcohol problems, do you? <laughs> well, you know, I mean, a long time ago, I used to hit the bottle real bad. But even though I had a family, my wife, my daughter, good job, a pretty, pretty much a nice position in a big company, but Things happen between my marriage and my family, so I mean it is hard to. I don't want to bother you with this, but I mean, no, I've, been, no, man. I've been passed through for a pretty, pretty rough times and, and things. So my wife left me for my daughter, and I was a good husband, a good father. I mean, I had everything, you know. Yeah. I don't know what happened. Wife let me and sooner than later I find out that uh, he went with my cousin and man, so went down to the your wife cheated on you with your, your, your yeah, cousin? Yeah man I mean didn't know that until later on. That's rough man. And one of my best cousin I I can say was my brother to me. Because yeah. I have no brothers and sister. Damn man, that's rough. Look, I'm really sorry about the situation, but let me tell you what. Um, why don't you start with your shift and, uh, and we're, we're going to pick you up, um, take you somewhere to eat and we can continue talking. Okay. okay. So good. we can go, grab a bite and then we can keep talking about the future okay. with you. Okay. Well, okay. Okay. So see you later. Okay. Yeah. I'll see you later. Get the job right now. Yeah. Okay. Right. Thank you, man. You're welcome. Thank you. this so it doesn't know it's his first payment in advance hey andres hey, what's up what's up man how's the guy finish the, uh, the shift <laughs> couple hours there's always work so why don't we take a break and we go take a bite are you thirsty hungry both and both? that sounds pretty good yeah do you have anything any preference in particular it like doesn't matter man i mean <laughs> All right, let's go. Okay. Everyone's leaving now, so okay. let's go as well. So, what do you want on this? While our friend is in the bathroom, we're going to place his first payment in advance as the price in this takeout bag. A little dessert for him. All right, man. So, enjoy, enjoy your food. <laughs> We got a surprise for you, but why don't you finish eating and then we'll we'll talk about that, okay? okay. <laughs> Enjoy. Thank you. So, uh, we were really impressed by you, let me tell you, Andres, because out of all the people we interviewed today, you were the first one to accept the job, okay? <laughs> Thank you very much for your disposition, for being honest about your past with us. And earlier today, you mentioned something really interesting about yourself you said that um, you had 
a history, right, with alcohol. Yeah, that's right. So I was wondering if you were willing to share a little bit more of your story with us, if you don't mind. Sure, I'll take the time of your No, no. To do that later, I don't know. Of course. Okay. No, yeah, that's okay. And, I don't want to bore you. I mean, no, no, don't worry. We were we're really interested in your story because I think that if we talk about it, we might bring this uh, to light to other people, and maybe we can make an impact in how th how things are being done. Right? Okay. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay, no problem. So, how did how did you uh, end up doing this? Yes. Well, I used to work in a big company, and I had a lot of uh, employee under my supervision. Yeah. And uh, I mean, it was a tough job because. You know the stress in the job. Every time that I finish, like 14 hours daily work, when I go to my house, I, I bring the, the stress from my work to my house. And I didn't know, or I didn't want to know nothing about problems in my house. So I was doing it little by little, you know, take a beer just for relaxing every time that I went to my house. And from that, I was continuing like every day with no um, excuse actually because sometimes I was working a little bit like not that hard, not that stressful and I was wanted to get to my house and get a beer and from now on I mean I think you know, and then sooner or later I mean I was drinking a beer every single day okay either it was Saturday or Sunday or Sometimes in my job, you know. Oh, so it started so it escalating. Was, yeah, to escalate real bad. So my wife noticed that uh, I was doing something wrong, and she was telling me about, you know, Andres, you have to stop this, concentrate your job in us, your daughter, your wife. Oh, my daughter. How how old was your daughter back then? Well, that was like 15 years ago, or well, I would say like almost 18. And uh, it was like five years doing that thing, and until my wife had it, you know, she said, "You know what? I was it." And maybe she found some attention to another person, and that person was turned out my most loved, beloved cousin. What do you mean? Like did she, she, she cheated on you with your cousin? I think it's my fault, you know. Even though I mean, my, my cousin should be was thinking a different way, you know, but but anyway, that was another history. You know? Well, it was a long time ago. Yeah, you don't like, seem that that angry about it anymore. Not anymore because when I hit the bottle real hard, when I was alone, because my wife left me, she took my daughter with him. Oh, so they left me alone with my problems in my work, and then the alcoholism. So did you lose your job eventually? Because yeah, of I it? hit. Bottom rock, you know, and from that on, I had no job. No one wants to hire me because of my situation, and it was pretty rough times, you know. Yeah, I can see. Now that I'm trying to get something, I don't know, maybe I want to pay back at least to my daughter if I can find a job, you know, a, a regular one. It doesn't matter that the pay, you know, it doesn't yeah. matter. But I mean, I'm alone. I have no like bills to pay. I don't know. Sad story, you know. I'm sorry. No, My don't buddy. worry. You keep sharing. So, what would you like to do with this money that you, you're gonna be start earning with us? Well, to be honest, now she should be in this college career. At least, if I can get some money and try to save up some quantity, uh, quantity. I mean, sorry. To pay for school, I mean, I don't know. Okay. Something that I can do to cover that big mistake that I. Okay. Made. So you'd rather use that money for her, totally, instead of you. How come if you were in such a good standing over there and uh, in such a good position, how 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 are you in this situation over here in the U.S. right now? That's because of my history back in with alcohol. Yeah, nobody wants to hire me, so I end up losing opportunities. All right. And then you don't have money, and you cannot pay rent or eat or something. So I 
very true. You know, when I crossed the U.S., I ended up doing every kind of job on me. That's no matter what. And I wanted to find a big job opportunity and do something about it and keep thinking about my daughter's future, you know? I can see That's that. That's why. You, you really love your daughter, right? All my heart. With all my heart, man. <sighs> yeah, man, I love it. And uh, I really think about every time about her. And, uh, I'm sorry. Have you heard for her, from her? No, nothing, actually. Tried to call, but nobody wants to take my calls. And, and they know that I'm here, but they don't care about that. They, I'm sorry, man. No, don't worry. I mean, I mean, it's just heartbreaking. But it's heartwarming as well to see how much you want to become present again for her. You know, uh, a father's love is never ending. Yeah, you're right on that. So um, I can I can get it. You know, I get it. And uh, we're gonna help you out to make sure that you can deliver this money to her and. We're gonna do everything in our power to get you in touch with her. Okay? <laughs> Would you like that? Man, that is like, I mean, that is for real. Yeah, of course. I mean, th this is what we do. You know, we we like to reward people with a kind heart. You have shown us that you have a big heart and that you're honest. You're an honest, kind man. When you took that shovel today, this was on the other side of the shovel. Yeah, it says job, right? So you took that job with you. And uh, as you know, with every job, there are some <laughs> there are some benefits, right? Yes, I guess. And uh, we would like to talk about those benefits for you during this job that you're about to take with us. You mean I'm going to keep working? For you? Yeah, of course. I mean, oh, I thought it was only one day job. No, no, no. It. I would like for you to work with us from now on. Would yeah, you like yeah. that? Yeah, sure. That's and, what I'm trying to find. Uh, and you know what? Since you already told me that you have experience being in charge of things, yeah. if you find yourself comfortable, we can start talking about maybe um, a different position in our company, like management or something. You I mean like talking about promotions? Yes, everything? of course. Yeah, I mean. If you're up for it, we would love to help you with that. Wow, man. And you would be That's, helping us as well. That would be great, yeah. <laughs> All right? Yeah. I mean, your story is a reflection of a, uh, a lot of people's stories here in this country. Uh, I thank you for sharing it with us. And Absolutely. I would like for you to, to have a little sweet something at the end of this meal. <laughs> there's, there's something more about this? I mean, I'm not talking about is... a dessert. You know, I'm talking about those those extra benefits and the first one that I would like to give you and talk to you about is still inside of this bag, okay? Why don't you look inside? Yeah, there's something in there for you. More, more fries or something? <laughs> it's a little sweet, sweet extra for you today. God, what is this? Well, I thought that you maybe would like to receive your first statement in advance. <laughs> what do you think? That's too much. I mean, what do you think? I mean, Killing me, man. I mean, this you burned it, man. It's a thousand dollars. You burned it, and uh, <laughs> okay, you were the first one to say yes. You didn't even hesitate. Uh, we really admire you. Okay. Our team admires you. We we do this. Okay, this is what we do. And um, I know you want to send that money to your daughter. First thing in my mind, yeah. But let me tell you what. We're going to help you with that money that you want to send to your daughter, okay? Please use this money for yourself. Treat yourself with anything you may need. Any clothing. If you have any bills to pay, please do it. Yeah. Okay? We're gonna give you some extra money so you can send your dog. All right? No way. <laughs> yeah, don't worry about that, man. Um, no, this is like, it's too much. You know, it's like... You deserve this. You deserve this. Honey. 
You deserve this. Thank you, man. You're a great man. Okay. It's my day in <laughs> my whole life right now. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Can I please give you a hug, man? Yeah, sure, of course. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right. Well, we're really proud to meet you, and we're really too, uh, proud to to have you in our team. Anything else you would like to say? Maybe what if your daughter sees this? Or would you like to tell her? Oh, that would be hard for me, but you know what? My day. This is for you. I found a couple of angels and I'm gonna be better. Just give me a chance and receive this and if you can have the time, give me your precious time to me. I will appreciate that. So my day, this is for you, okay? This is for you all the way. I'm sure she still loves you. And uh, she's gonna be so proud of you. Yeah, I think it's gonna be that, yeah. Thank, Thank you so much. Thanks. <laughs> See you later.